Well, hi there. We're here in uh, Gooseberry Falls State Park. We're going to head out on the uh, Kichigami uh, bike trail. We've done a section before that's up by Tofty and Lutzen. We haven't done this section before. We're going to go from here in Gooseberry Falls State Park up to the uh, Split Rock Lighthouse State Park. And then uh, maybe go a little further. I don't know. It's about eight miles to there. It's supposed to be kind of hilly, so we'll just see how it goes. It's kind of warm today. We came up here because it's supposed to be close to 100 at home. It's only 70 something here. So come along with us. Heading over the Gooseberry River and you can see the top of the Middle Falls. The river was running pretty low this year. Usually in the summer you go see a lot of people walking up and down the falls, swimming in the river below the falls, and fishing. If you've never been to the falls, it's well worth a visit. Here's a picture from our family vacation in 2002. It's amazing what a about a hundred yard difference make. Now we're close to the uh, Lake Superior, and boy, it's a lot cooler. You know, about a hundred yards or two hundred yards away from it, and it's pretty darn hot and humid. So uh, hopefully, this trail will keep closer to the lake as it has been. It was good to see many people out enjoying the Gichigami bike trail. It wasn't very easy to see in the video, but there were two brave souls out paddleboarding on the cold Lake Superior water. We encountered some fog coming off the lake at the Split Rock River, which felt very, very good on a hot day. Interestingly, this bridge we're going across is part of the Superior Hiking Trail. So now I think we're in the state park for the Split Rock Lighthouse. So we're gonna bike up there and see it. It's been a nice trail so far, pretty. Uh, I wish it wasn't on the road so much, but they have a lot of private property they can't get around. So I think they've done the best they can trying to keep it away from the road. Well, cost uh, eight dollars to walk around the grounds, or twelve to take the lighthouse tour. We've been there, done that. I'll stick a stock photo of mine in the uh, video here for you. And we decided not to skip that. We're going to maybe go a little bit north, up towards Silver Bay, and see what that looks like.
My hope was that we'd get a view back towards the lighthouse from the north, but we never did find one. This looked like a very likely spot, but I still couldn't see the lighthouse. We took a quick break to enjoy some water and look at the wildflowers, and then headed back to Gooseberry Falls. So it's a bit confusing. There is a Split Rock State Park, that's to the right of me there, and then there's the Split House Lighthouse, which is an historical site, and they have separate entrance fees, of course. I can see the lighthouse back there. Well, I was gonna complain on my wrap up that you didn't get any views of the lighthouse, but you do get a, a filtered view. The problem is going north, you're going downhill, so you don't really see it. But uh, just be on the lookout for it. things we really enjoy up on the North Shore are the lupins they have there. They're actually an invasive species. They are the large leaf lupin. Wow, we're just finishing up our ride here on the Gichigami Trail from Goose Berry Falls up to uh, Split Rock Lighthouse and we went about a uh, not quite three miles past that. It's a beautiful trail. It's definitely up and down but uh, not pretty manageable. We're probably going to go about 20 some miles. I would encourage you to give this a try. It's uh, can't wait till they get the trail all the way up and down the North Shore here but the segments they have are wonderful so until our next ride we'll see ya. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.